Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today in front of me, we have a special one. This is the Dragonfly Drone by Force One. Now, I did find this on Amazon. It retails, now Canadian, don't know about in the US. It retails for about $180. Um, so let's look at some of the specs here. Uh, so like I said, again, it's a Dragonfly. It's a Wi-Fi drone uh, with wide angle, 120 degrees wide angle lens. Uh, 720p HD camera. Uh, what else say in the bottom here? Uh, custom root mode, which will be nice. Uh, altitude hold mode, real time feedback, so you can watch what you're doing from your phone. Uh, what is it? Headless mode, Wi Fi control, out of range alarm, low battery alarm. Now, I've been reading some of the reviews on these from Amazon, and they say if the low battery alarm hits, get down immediately. Do not fly around for another, you know, five, 10 minutes. You know, the only about 10 minute battery somewhere around there. But they say get down very fast or you will crash land. Uh, and what does it say here? One button takeoff and landing. Uh, and on the back here, it shows you the controller with your phone in it. Uh, ages 14 plus, uh, just, you know, have your parents watch over you if you're uh, around 14. Ah, uh, so what does it say here? You can use it with your VR. I won't be doing that even though I have a VR, but at the moment, I think it'd be kind of weird to actually do this, unless you actually get used to flying a drone a lot. Ah, uh, then it just says custom flight mode again. And this thing does come with two batteries. And that's it. So let's get inside the box here. So let's get inside the box here, guys. Now I forgot to mention that this is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, remote controller. I think that's all I forgot to mention. Oh, and also that it is a U34W. So U as in um, umbrella, 34 Walter. That is the model number on this drum. Ooh, and look at that guys drone does look very good so as you can see there's the drone itself and it gives you two batteries should put that aside for right now and this little baggie looks like it gives you a little charging cable what it looks like uh, and then there's some extra wings a little screwdriver to put them on uh, looks like another little allen key what it looks like and a little pry tool as well right there and here guys well, that did not work the way I wanted to. Put that aside, put the knob back on, if I can. Don't. And this is the controller. Now, if I can get it out, I will show you guys. There we go. Now look at that controller, guys. It is big and bulky. The on off switch right here. Uh, that's your landing and takeoff button. Not sure, you know, there's no buttons right there. Now there's buttons on the back, there's a trim, and it looks like probably height and, yeah, height and lower, I'm gonna guess. And there's your directions right here. Now, you turn these off to the side a little bit, and right here, it's a little holder for your phone. It's adjustable as well. Now let's look at the drone itself. That's one more thing beforehand. It actually gives you you know, I said those two little buttons on the top were non-functional, up, down, fly. And it just tells you everything to do with that. Uh, there's heading hold mode. And there's your one button, take off and everything. Uh, and then it says on the back, we'll read the owner's manual. So the drone itself, guys, look at this here. Look at that, guys. There is where your battery goes. You don't need that and then there's your propeller and then your camera is right there in the front let's see if this thing has a charge to it hold the button don't know if you guys can see that or not there you go you can see light here is it gives you a little better 
Look at that guys, so now we can sync this and get this thing ready to fly. So inside the box, the last couple of little things is a little thing that says, please let us know about how satisfied you guys are with the pro uh, purchase of this product. Uh, and I will let the company know how I do feel and we'll show some like nice shots. I'm gonna try to get out to fly for you guys so you guys can see how this thing does and how it looks by the camera. Uh, so what's this one? This is just a uh, safety instructions. Who really cares about safety? But I'll probably read it later on. Uh, then the user manual. So we're gonna have to figure out what app we have to download before we get too far here. And Let's hope that it will tell me in here. Let's see what the index contents. I guess we're going by a guess here. Uh, let's see if I can try to find out what the app is called here. Okay, so I figured out what app I needed. I had to go through the instructions to figure out which one I did need. Uh, it's called Flying C. Do not use the Force One app. I could not make it work for the life of me. Uh, to set this thing up, uh, you do need your phone and everything, but when you had the drone and you have your controller with the uh, four, I think they're double A batteries, which I had in my pocket, thank God. Uh, so you just turn on the controller, wait for the beep, hold the power button until it's flashing, and you just hold it down. You hear that beep beep beep, right? And you can make it fly right. And then you just hold it to make it land. That's it. If you hit anything else, nothing will work. So let's get this thing out, guys. Now get you some nice aerial shots. Let's test it out. I've never flown a drone with a camera outside or any drone outside to be exact. So let's see if, thing, if we can ruin this thing and get some good footage for you guys. Well guys, I, uh, I can't get you guys any footage. Uh, I took it out, tried to get you guys some nice footage of uh, flying over a lake. And uh, yeah, it didn't turn out as well as I thought it would. Uh, stupid me, didn't hit record on it. So nothing was filmed. It, the controller wouldn't beep, which meant low battery, no warnings on the screen or anything. It just, like about five seconds later, dropped. Hit the lake and it's gone. I've been searching for half an hour, swimming out there, up, up to my neck, actually even past my neck, which I didn't think was that far. Nowhere to be found. So, but guys, a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, but if you guys are flying drones, be careful out there. It, you can lose a drone very fast. Now, you know what? It, it happens to the best of us. We can go out there and fly. People have been flying drones for a long time and lose them very quick. Thank God I didn't go and spend thousands of dollars and that happened to me because I'd be very upset and probably wouldn't be doing this. Probably wouldn't be filming the video for you guys. But again, a lot of fun guys. And I just want to say to the guys at Force One, nice product, very, very cool. But you know what? If that beep was a little bit longer and the controls worked when it got low battery, which mine didn't, I was pulling it back and it was flying away from me. I tried the other direction, go away from me. It couldn't get any closer and that's when it dropped. But uh, guys, you know, when I say Force One again, very, very cool product. Uh, I'd probably be waiting and probably buy another one eventually. Cause now I have a controller that not in use. Thank you all for watching guys and please subscribe. If you like what you guys seen, like I said, please subscribe. Hit the little notification button so you get updated on my new videos. Uh, and I'll leave some links down below for my, even my social media, my Twitter, my Facebook, uh, and even Instagram. Please check them out. Please follow to get updates on the new videos coming out. You'll see them. I post them. Within the next day, I have them up on the, the social media, either Facebook, Twitter. Sometimes Twitter's a little bit longer. But Instagram, I have it up on there as well. Uh, and please, guys, like this video. Please share it with your friends. And uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.